Hi, I'm Mr. Omingyo. Okay, now let's look at the questions uh, with regards to total internal refraction. Okay, I have a ray of light that is uh, moving from liquid X to the air at an angle of incidence of 50 degrees as shown in the diagram. Okay, so uh, if the refractive index of the liquid X is 1.33, determine the most probable emerging ray of light. Okay, so now, when a light ray is moving from an uh, optically denser to a uh, less dense medium, there are altogether three possibilities. The first, the first possibility is if the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle, it's going to emerge into the air medium and it will bend away from the normal. Okay, like B. And A is out because from an optically denser to a less than medium it cannot it cannot bend towards the normal okay then the next possibility is is that uh, if the angle of incidence here is equal to the critical angle the refracted ray will go along the air and the liquid boundary like C and the last probability the last possibility is that if the angle of incidence here is greater than the critical angle it's going to get total total internal reflected into uh, back into liquid X. Okay, so now, uh, how do we know whether is it B, C, or D? We have to find the critical angle. So this is how we approach the question. We use the formula. Refractive index is equal to 1 over sine C. And then we find out what is the critical angle. It will be shift sine 1 over N. So we get 48.7 degrees. And you find that the angle of incidence here is 50 degrees is more than the critical angle. So total internal reflection will take place and the answer will be D.